Okay, so this is Google Meet and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use it. I'm going to be showing you how to use this website as a host. A host is someone that creates the meeting so others can join. And then I'm going to show you how to use it as a guest. A guest is someone that receives a link to join a Google Meet meeting. All right, so let's begin. All right, so you can use Google Meet on your phone as well as on your computer. For this video, I'll be showing you how to do both. Um, I'll be using the PC for the hosts aspect and then my phone for the guests aspect. Okay, so as a host, I'm going to open up Google Chrome and then I'll head to meet.google.com. So what you want to do next is sign in. You need to have a Google account to sign in. So click on sign in and then enter your email and your password. All right, so after you're done signing into your Google account, this is what it's going to look like. And like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm going to start as a host. So as a host, you come over here and you click on new meeting. You have three options. You can either create a meeting for later, start an instant meeting, or schedule in a meeting in your Google Calendar. Um, I think this third option is going to be for people that have a paid Google plan. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about this option. Um, you can either go for this one, start an instant meeting, or this one. But I'll recommend you click on this create a meeting for later so that you can prepare yourself before the meeting begins. So click on this and it's going to generate a code for you, a link. So you can copy this link and save it somewhere. You have to save it somewhere. If not, you may lose it completely. So copy it by clicking on copy. And for me, I save it in Google Docs, but if you don't use Google Docs, then you can use your notepad on your computer. So you can just click this Windows button and then you search for notepad. So this is it over here. Click it and just save the link that you copied. Okay, you don't even have to save it. You can just minimize this and then you can close this. All right, so now you have gotten the link. Then maybe when you have like 30 minutes to the meeting, I would recommend you, you get the link, just copy it. And then you paste it in a new tab, press enter, and um, this should show up. Okay, so it's loading, so we'll wait for it to get fully loaded. Okay, so this should show up. The website is asking to have access to your microphone and your camera, like the camera in your computer, as well as the microphone. So you can click this. So you have two options. I would recommend you select this one, allow while visiting the site. So that whenever you visit this website, you don't always have to have this pop up again. So click on allow while visiting the site. All right, so for me, the website now has access to my mic as well as my camera, but my camera has this um, covering stuff here. So I'm going to bring it down. Okay, let me just adjust it this way. All right, so you can see now that my camera is active as well. So from here, you can see that uh, my face is visible. And uh, also this thing over here is spiking. So it means that it is detecting the audio. So if I'm not talking, you'll see that it doesn't move. There's a dog barking, that's why it is moving. But anyways, all right, so as you can see, the website is detecting my voice as well as my camera. So if yours is having issues, you can click here this is for the mic and you may get a few options here. So just click them one by one and then check. As you click them, you speak and see if this, like if this slider moves. This is also showing me that it is detecting my voice. So I only have one option over here. So that's why I don't see a lot. But if I had many, then i would click on them and uh, I'll check to see if this slider is moving. Okay, so if this works, then you are done with the microphone aspects. It means that when you speak, people can hear you. Next, you want to check if you can hear people when they speak. Now, the only way to do that is by clicking here and then you click on test speakers to see if your speakers are working. All right, guys, I forgot to mention this while I was recording the video. Don't forget to check this part if you have like other speakers like earphones or Bluetooth earphones that are connected to your computer. If other devices are connected to your computer, then they will show up here so you can use them as your speaker instead of using the integrated speakers that are in your computer. Now for me, my speakers are not that good, but if I click it, you should hear something. So I hope you heard that. So that means that um, my speakers are also working. And as you can see, the camera is working. So 
there are other camera options over here i've never tested them i've only used this one the integrated webcam so just select it if your camera is not working make sure that um, it doesn't say camera is off if this is not off if this is not disabled then you can click here and then just click on the options that you get to see if the camera is going to start working so if you have done all of these and everything is good then the last thing that you may want to do is click here to apply some uh, visuals i'm not going to go too deep into these ones because they are not necessary um, for most people they like to blur the background so if i click on this i don't even have a lot of things in my background if not you will notice um, the blurriness okay so you, um, there's a switch that's supposed to be here but you can't see it very well so that means that it is being blurred out if you want more blur you can click on this so you can see that it's just my face that is visible everything else is not visible even the phone that i'm using to record my my computer is not that visible so you may want this if you don't want people seeing what is behind you or people that may be passing by then i would recommend you turn this on i'm not going to waste too much time but you can see there are so many options you can choose from there are also filters here that you can try out let me just try out one under accessories maybe this one so just give it some time to load you can see this blue bar down here it depends on your internet speed anyways mine is not that great but it's not that bad either <laughs> okay so this is what it looks like you can see the heart follows my head however i i spin my head so if you want you can do stuff like that and if you don't want it you can click here and remove the one that you don't want so i like the blood background so i'm going to leave it but for the filter i don't want it so i'll click it and you can see that it is gone all right so choose what you want by by clicking on these tabs over here you can play around with them and if you see what you like you leave it if you don't like something you click here and you remove it if you don't if you want to remove everything you can click remove all all right so after you're done with that you can close this and I think you are now ready to start as the host so you click join now all right so the meeting has not started until someone else joins and you have to keep that in mind because for the free version of google meet um, you have 60 minutes so once someone joins the meeting when it is more than one person that's when the counter starts i believe that's how it works maybe i may be wrong but i've never noticed the counter working until after someone joins the meeting Okay, so keep that in mind. You have 60 minutes if you're using the free plan, but you can always create a new link so people can join, but it's not always convenient. All right, so as a host, you have a few tools that you can use. Uh, first, we'll start with these tools over here. So if you click here, you see, not click yet. If you hover your mouse over it, you'll see that it says host controls. So these are all the controls that you have as the host of the meeting. You are in charge of the meeting, basically. All right, so you can click this to enable all the features i'm going to go through them one by one all right so the first option you have is to allow people to share their screen some people may want to show you what their screen is showing like their computer is showing or their phone and if you have this right now it is disabled but by leaving it blue like this that means it is enabled so if you have this enabled anyone can share their screen and share with the people that are in the meeting so if you don't want people doing that you can disable it this way also there's this option to allow people send chat messages um, down here if the people that are having the meeting with you click on this they can be able to type messages instead of speaking out so if you don't want people doing that then you can disable you can disable it from here you can disable it from here there's also reactions if you disable this people will not be able to send the reactions so even you as the host will not be able to send the reactions so reactions can be used when maybe someone is saying something and people are agreeing to it but they don't necessarily want to speak up so they can just click on this and send their reactions like thumbs up and it's going to float up like this so yeah that's reactions and if you don't want people to be able to speak when they join the meeting you can disable this also if you don't want them to have their video turned on like the way you can see my face on the computer if you don't want that then you can disable this and they will not be able to show their faces so in most cases you may want most of these things enabled like unless you think you have people that want to spam or maybe cause trouble 
then these two can be turned off. So essentially, it depends on what you want. If you don't want people coming in and doing whatever they want because you don't, you're not sure of the kind of people that you'll be having the meeting with, then you can disable all of this. And uh, when they come, they won't be able to do anything. You have to give them the approval to turn on their mics or turn on their videos or send the reactions and the rest. For now, I'm going to enable everything. All right, so you have this option over here. Host must join before anyone else. Okay, right now I am currently doing some setups, so I wouldn't want someone to just hop into the meeting while I'm setting everything up. So I can click on this to make sure that the meeting is already set up before anyone can join the meeting. Also, there are these options down here. The meeting can be an open meeting, which means that anyone that has this link will be able to join the meeting. So if I select open, anyone can join the meeting. You can see over here in the top left corner, there's this icon. This is letting you know that anyone can join the meeting as long as they have this link. Like I said, it depends on the kind of people you're having the meeting with. If you're not too sure about them, maybe they may give the link to people. Then you can click on this to make it a trusted um, Google Meets meeting essentially. So with this one, if anyone wants to join the meeting, you're going to see a pop-up asking you if you want to allow the person to join the meeting. I will show you that very soon. Um, for this one, I have never used this one before, so I'm not really sure what it means. So, well, I will just, I just leave it turned on by default. So as a host, you can go through the controls and say the ones you want to enable or disable. And after that, you click here. If at any point as a host, you wish to share the link with someone, instead of coming to um, your notepad and copying the link again, you can just click here and then you click on copy joining info and then you can paste it anywhere you want. All right, so I am now on my phone and um, for you to get started as a guest, you need to make sure you have the Google Meet app. So what you want to do is you head over to the Play Store or the App Store and then you search for Google Meet. So this is it over here, Google Meet. So if you have it installed, then just tap open. But if you don't have it installed, then you tap install. All right, so if someone sends you a link to Google Meet, you can come to the link and then you copy it. And then you tap on Meet, you open the app. After opening the app, it should ask you a few questions. So you can select your Google account and then you tap continue. So it's going to ask you for access to things like your camera and your mic. So you just tap give access. So right now my phone is asking me if I want this app to be able to do things like make video calls, I'll tap yes while using the app and then I'll tap OK. All right, so if you want to start a new meeting, you can tap here or if you want to join a meeting, you can tap it and then you tap enter a meet code, tap it, tap OK and then paste the link, paste the entire link. You don't have to worry about just pasting the code Then you paste join, and you tap join. Okay, so this is me now on my phone. Um, what I want to do first is mute myself because I don't want, there's going to be a lot of echo. So I'm going to mute myself. And if I tap ask to join now, you see on my computer, it is asking me if I want this person to be part of the meeting, if, I, if I'm sure that I even know this person. So it is asking someone wants to join this call. By tapping view, you can come here and click admit. Okay, I'm sure you heard that echo. If I keep it, I don't, I'm not really sure if at this point you're understanding what is happening, but on my phone, I am a guest and on the PC, I am the host. Okay, so I'll be keeping my phone. I'm not sure you can see it, but my phone is right around here. All right, so as the host, if you want to see the number of people in your meeting, you can click here. And let's say someone is speaking and they are interrupting people and you want to mute them, you can click here to mute the person. But right now I'm already muted, so I can't mute myself again. So yeah, you can click here to mute the person. And you as a guest, if you want to mute yourself, you can click here to mute. So as you can see right now, um, it is white. So that means that it is muted. Also, you can tap here to raise your hand so that um, the host will know that someone wants to speak. So as you can see, it is saying um, someone has raised their hand and the host will look at this and maybe unmute you as the guest and allow you to speak. 
there are also a few things you can do this option down here is to turn on captions i don't normally turn it on because i've noticed that it is a bit slow because it takes some time for google to translate or to understand what the person is saying so i don't normally turn it on i've already shown you um, reactions so if you wish to share your screen you can click on this and you have a few options over here you can either share a tab a tab is any tab you have opened on your your browser you can share a window a window is like any app that you open so let's say i open the opera browser all right if i go back to google meet you can see now that i have two windows and that's because i have just two apps opened right now and finally i can share my entire screen so everything that my computer shows google meet will also see and this is going to be displayed for others to see so let's say i decide to share my my opera browser screen if i click on share you can see now that on my phone i can view the opera browser being shared from my computer and this view is as a guest when i'm done sharing i can come back to google meet if you don't see this stop sharing over here you can just click here then you click stop presenting and you should stop sharing all right so as a guest here are a few options you have you can tap on this to raise your hand um, you can tap here and if you want to send a message like a chat then you can tap this and send your message let's say i type hello and then i tap send you see over here on the computer the host is going to see this and everybody else that is a part of the meeting will also see this message you can tap here to exit out of the message option and uh, if you want to share your screen you can tap on share screen so you have this option over here if you want to just share a single app that you tap this it's not always going to work out so i would recommend you just tap entire screen so that whatever app you open people are going to be able to see it because you may want to share a single app but that app may take you to somewhere else and you would want the people that are watching the that are watching your screen to be able to see what you're talking about so make sure you select entire screen and then you tap start so now you can see whatever i do the host is also going to see it and everybody else that is a part of that meeting will see my my screen so after you're done sharing your screen you tap on google meet rejoin then you tap on this and stop sharing your screen and it should go back to normal when you stop sharing your screen your video is going to stop showing you can see over here it just shows the logo it doesn't show my face anymore so i'll tap this to bring back the video so as a guest these are the options you have you can tap here to even re react to messages and as you react it's going to be displayed for everybody else to see and yeah that's basically all you do as a guest so i'm going to end the call as a guest all right so as a host if at some point you want to mute yourself you can click this to mute yourself and if you don't want your video displaying anymore you can click here so that your camera turns off this way you can allow someone else speak and not interrupt them and when they are done speaking you can unmute yourself and turn on your camera so that everyone can see your face again if you decide to show your face all right so after you're done with the meeting all you need to do is click on this and you have two options if you just want to leave the call and allow others to continue on then you can click just leave the call but if you want to end the call because the meeting is over then you can click end the call for everyone so for this one i'll be clicking end the call for everyone and yeah you can leave a review if you want but my experience google meet has been very good so i always give them the five stars so that is basically how you use google meet i know um this video is a bit at some point it got a bit too complex maybe some people will see it that way if it, if the video was helpful to you please let me know in the comments and give the video a like and if you have questions please let me know and i'll respond to your questions also if you guys want me to do like another video for google meet but this time instead of doing both of them at the same time like the guest and the host i may make a separate video for just the host and a separate video for just the guest all right thank you for watching and i'll be seeing you in the next video take care and bye bye